Dear viewer, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Rezaul Hak. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial system, different types of human machine interface are using. Schematic TP1200 Comport SMI is most usable of them. Today, I will discuss about how to upload and download a program from Schematic TP1200 Comfort SMI by using Schematic Pulsep Software version 16.0.0. So, dear friend, let's start. You see, it is the TP1200 Comfort SMI that are using to control a machine. We want to first we want to upload the program from this uh, SMI, then we download this uh, uploaded program to this SMI. At first, we have to be connect communication cable. You see, it is the in the industrial Ethernet cable that we connected in SMI site and it is connected to in PLC in a 300 PLC. So, it is a two terminal labs available, and another site is connected to the PC, well, that means the laptop or SMI. So, we use the industrial Ethernet cable to upload but download the program first we power up the smi this is my power up and we see the ip address that is need to do connect this smi with our computer system so we power off and uh, then we go to the control setting you see go to the setting mode you see we go to the setting mode then and uh, go to the transfer function you see not network id go to transfer in the transfer you can uh, understand the which one which option are using to upload download program you see it is in the industrial ethernet pn or industrial ethernet we use this one so we go to that properties and in the properties we can see the ip address that are using in this uh, smi and this uh, ip address we need to communicate between this smi to pc so we go to the pn and you can see this is the ip address you see 192.168.0 and 2 this is the ip address and uh, it is most important that the, this ip address series and the our uh, laptop or pc ip addresses must be same it must be in zero series you see 192.168.0 and 2 and in the pc ip address must be in 192.168.0 uh, and that another in any other numbers so we have uh, record this uh, IP address and uh, then we go to the our PC site and PC site we check the industrial Ethernet IP address it is same series or the in the SMI or not so we press in the transfer mode and now we go to the PC site it is connecting to host that means we press the transfer so we check in the network the IP address of the our using PC that uh, PC are using to we want to upload and download to program so we go to the network and go to the change adapter option in the change adapter option we go to the properties and go to the ip ipv4 in here you see it is the ip address is the same series it is the same series of this uh, human machine right side i have show the human machine uh, ip address and here the pc ip that we are same series so it is no problem it can co communicate with this smi if the your pc ip address is not same into uh, that means that uh, 192.168.0 or one if you become one you must be changing one then go to the search button and find the schematic process and schematic process you can find out the our desire the uh, smi number that means the tp 1200 comfort we select this one you see a tp 1200 comfort select and then you go to the connection it is our the industrial ethernet so you select this one and it is the ip address must be same we select the ip address and go to the press the backup button and you have to be select this one the where we want to save this a uh, upload program so we go to backup and go to start and now press the start backup button this is Yes, but unless they already upload, so it is the now seen it is communicated. That means that now it is connected between the HMI and the laptop. You see in the right side corner, I am showing the HM HM screen at uploading condition. That means that uploading condition, what are happening in the HMI site, in right side is in the HMI site, and in the left side is the PC side. That means that our program is transferring from HMI to laptop. That means taking backup or upload. 
is different name you can uh, tell in up, uh, backup or upload you can see this one upload and backup is the same upload means that we want to taking the program from the smi to laptop you see again you see the performing backup operation in smi it's showing the taskbar and performing backup operation that means the most important things that you have first have to be check the ip address in smi then you have to press the transfer mode in smi side then you communicate by laptop then you press the go to the backup and then you can uh, select the, uh, the desired uh, smi and the ip address as the uh, we have recording from the smi then you press the in the start backup now see it is almost going to 89 percent already taking backup from smi you see it is taking some time it is a complete backup complete backup means that means the operating system project uh, firmware version all we all will be take backup so it takes some time you have to be waiting fashion uh, so it is a uh, take some time when you go uh, doing this one you have to be take some uh, time so you see this creating backup in the PC side is showing the creating backup and in SMI side is showing the uh, taking backup. The transfer mode is showing that's all. So after uh, completing this backup, again I have uh, download this program. This taking backup program I download to the SMI. So first, uh, first step we are taking backup. So you have understand that the most important things that the uh, one is the IP address if taking from the smi and have to be placed in the transfer mode in smi site and you have to communicate between the schematic process software and you put this see the backup was created successfully it is showing that backup was created successfully by using key pni you can you have to select the desktop body in desktop is showing that the backup it is say now we want to save that yeah now we want to take download the program from here so we again you pro, uh, you can press the start button you can see this after taking completed you can see that SMI is completed that means the uh, our taking backup is complete now i show you the uh, download how to download so you have to press in the transfer mode again and uh, you see it is connected to what is showing the connection again you search the schematic process software again you open the schematic process software now we open the schematic process software and uh, you have to be uh, you have to be again you already uh, the uh, device type is uh, same in the uh, ip address also is same so you go to the uh, restore button you select the restore and uh, when you press the restore button then you browse to select the program that you want to restore or download to the uh, uh, smi so you go to the desktop we have already uh, put the desktop type so select desktop desktop you select the program and press the open button you see now this shows the backup program is showing the uh, license number version number firmware version all are showing is here and, uh, and now press the start restore when you press the start restore button then the you see it with the auto attention you see pressing attention then the program already are in hmi it will be reset or remove so you have to be mind that uh, the all the program in SMI will be deleted. So you have to be confirm and press the yes button. So we want to yes, so press the yes button. Now you see now it is co co communicating already communication established between the SMI and the PC. Now our program are downloading to the SMI and the right side corner you see SMI screen at download. I show you the, the when that program are downloading from the SMI sorry uh, PLC uh, PLC uh, laptop to SMI it is showing this one and uh, it in the SMI screen it is showing the transferring mode so it also takes some time because the project firmware version operating system all will be transferred from laptop to SMI you see it will take some time after uh, completing the downloading the SMI will be restarted automatically the SMI will be restart and our the PC program will be downloaded to SMI it's some time it is taking some time so we have to be wait some time for the ending or complete this uh, downloading procedure you see downloading you see the backup sorry the backup is being copied back copied back that means the our uh, uploaded program are downloading to SMI 
it is very easy that means the most important things that the you have to be select the uh, taking the ip address uh, that are using in the smi this ip address have to be uh, recorded then the uh, put it starts for more so now it is going to very near to complete the download you see it is almost uh, completed within a short time it will be complete you see you see in the right side corner i am showing that it's already 91 percent is uh, already download completed 1 to 93 percent it is also going to 94 percent that means that uh, only six percent left and you see 96 percent already 97 percent uh, 98 percent uh, you see 98 that means uh, 99 and you see 100 percent that means the restore is completed successfully now in the sms skin you see restore or download is completed now sms is automatically restored we don't restart but sms is automatically restore the and the our uh, uh, download program will be run in smi so dear friend if you think this video is very helpful to please subscribe my channel if you already subscribe so thank you also like comments and share that's the other people can learn about the upload and download procedure or systematic tp1200 comfort smi so dear friend no more today assalamu alaikum please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching